the log message we are waiting for. And as you can see that um, it has a timestamp and it says that BGP adjacency change, we seeing a neighbor at the IP address of 12.2 and it is up. So now if I'm to use the summary command again, I'm going to see that uh, it has no keywords right here. If you do not see keywords like active, idle right here, it means that uh, you are established. Okay, and to, to verify that, you could actually use another command called show IP BGP neighbor and then you use the IP address of the neighbor and it gives a lot of information but the thing we need to verify actually this is the command I've used and it says right here that BGP state is established and it has been established for 56 seconds okay but what is the zero right here? This zero simply is about how many prefixes we have received from this neighbor. Okay, and up until now, I only configured the neighbor relationship between router 1 and 2. I have not configured router 2 to advertise anything to router 1 nor vice versa. Okay. So, um, how to inject routes in BGP? To inject routes in BGP, we could be using the network command. Just like, okay, like um, IGPs, OSPF, uh, and EIGRP, we use the network command, but actually it is kind of slightly different than IGPs. Um, first of all, you specify the network keyword at the routing process right here and then you specify an IP address. Okay. Then you specify the mask keyword and you type the mask not the wildcard mask okay in bgp we use the submit mask not the wildcard mask and let's let's see how we could advertise networks um, from router 2 so let's go over to router 2 and now i want to just show you that we have two neighbors one of them is an established state and the other one never or actually an active state and the neighborship relationship has been never up or never has been up whatever <laughs> anyways so um, we have seven messages being sent and received okay between uh, router 2 and router one, but of course zero messages being sent and received with router 3. How to inject routes? We use the network command. So let's use the network command and specify that we want to advertise 192.168.2.0 network. 192.168.2.0 which is this network right here. Okay. We could actually um, use the mask and then specify subnet mask. Uh, this network actually is slash 24 network. It is a normal network. It's not a subnet. Unlike the um, other network connected to router 2, the 172.20 slash 24, this is a subnet. Okay. But the 192.168.2.0 is a normal network. Um, right? Okay. Um, so, what happens when we use the network command? 
Whenever you hit enter, the router will look for exactly the same network you have specified in the network command. And only this network BGP will be advertising. Which means if we have something like a um, network that has an IP address of 182.168.2.64.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
okay so first of all we have the star or asterisk code which means that this is a valid route greater than sign it means that this is the best so if we have multiple routes we need to choose just one best path okay and in this case we only have just one path so this is considered the best path okay uh, other codes just like RIB uh, RIB this is not rep uh, routing information protocol this is routing information base failure um, this actually signifies the R code which can be located on the left signifies that uh, there is a failure or actually this prefix will not enter the routing table for example because it has a higher um, administrative distance than something the uh, routing table already has okay for example uh, we have a static route that points to the same destination okay so um, which source of information will router one choose to reach um, this destination will it choose BGP that has administrative distance of 20 by default or it will choose the uh, static route that has administrative distance of 1 by default definitely it will choose the lower administrative distance okay internal means that it has been learned by uh, IBGP and we're gonna view this in a bit when we use uh, BGP between router 1 and 3 codes on the right okay our origin codes I means that this network has been installed in BGP tables using the network command okay just like we did E means that this network is coming from EGP EGP is the old um, routing protocol and apart from being the Egyptian pound <laughs> which probably nobody use but um, again <laughs> EGP is um, or actually was a, uh, an exter exterior exterior um, gateway protocol um, being used over the internet but uh, it is a very old one and it has been phased out and replaced with uh, BGP that is being currently used over the internet um, it was a class full um, exterior gateway protocol and probably nobody uh, currently uh, use um, question mark means that this network has been installed in BGP using redistribution okay so um, with that in mind let's view our routing table on router 1 and as you guys can see that using BGP okay we have information in our routing table about a network called 192.168.20.24 it has administrative distance of 